Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Still looking consistently at four different storm systems now through the end of March. You can see the timeline here for snow in the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado, for example, in Colorado. Heavy snow accumulation coming afternoon, 323 through 325. Light on 326 and then heavy accumulation on 329 through 331. So that takes us right through the end of the month. In the Northeast, still on track for a heavy uh, snow accumulation on 323 with a nice nor'easter type storm system and potentially heavy on 328. So we'll take a look at all this in the other forecast. Here's the latest water vapor satellite imagery this morning. And a few things to mark here. So your moisture aloft is in your whites and your blues. There's our first large storm system. Um, then you've got another storm back here, and then there's another one behind that, and there's also one behind that storm system. So you've got all these different areas of low pressure lined up in the Pacific being guided in by a strong jet stream. Here it is by the close of day today. You can see that trough sliding towards California, Washington, and Oregon. Then it's in by tomorrow at 11 p.m. And then it slides into the Intermountain West, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and it actually develops into a little stronger area of low pressure in southeast Colorado. Now, immediately on this storm's heels, look at the jets wide open, so another area of low pressure will slide quickly through the Intermountain West, keeping the snow accumulation going on 325 and 326. Then here comes the next storm, and you can see it's, it's got its own jet support, and that moves in. And then another storm right here on 330 into 331, and that one looks pretty potent at this point. So a total of four different storm systems and uh, good jet support all the way through. Here's a forecast radar and satellite by 530 this afternoon. Here comes our storm system on shore, and then it moves into the interior, and here we go. Storm matures, 324 in the afternoon. You've got snow through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah. In Colorado, Denver starts as rain, but then changes over to snow right there late Sunday into Monday morning. The low spins up a little bit, and then it eventually exits. But right on its heels, notice the blue continues to come in. That's that second storm. It's not in terribly strong, but it does keep the snow going. Here comes the next storm system, slides through. And then the final storm right here dives further to the south through California. And that one may have some, uh, that one may have some heavy snow potential with it from California all the way through Utah into Colorado and New Mexico. You can see it actually does try to spin up into a little bigger low right there on the final day of March. Okay, my latest numbers, grand total map by late 331, a couple of things to talk about. Some of the biggest changes have occurred in parts of southern Colorado. So because the four storm, and I just pointed this out, goes further to the south, it digs further to the south, it actually develops into a little stronger low in southeast Colorado as it comes through. The numbers have all gone up through a lot of the San Juans. Now we're looking at three to four feet of accumulation. Uh, you'll notice the numbers over Wolf Creek and Silverton, Telluride, Purgatory, Monarch, and Crested Butte have all risen as a result of largely that fourth storm system and the track on that. Um, elsewhere, the numbers have stayed big through California and the Sierra with uh, potentially four feet or more. Um, looking at two to three feet through the Wasatch, a couple of feet in the Tetons, about a foot for Big Sky. Um, some of the numbers in Montana have drifted down just a little bit, but we're still looking at a lot of accumulation during this time period. Anywhere in purple is over a foot. Okay, by time period, so today through tomorrow, you can see the numbers. Most of this happens tomorrow on 323, anywhere from 3 to 8 inches in the Wasatch, 1 to 3 in Colorado, 2 to 4 in the Tetons, and about a foot for the Sierra. Okay, next time period, 324 through 326. Um, that low spins up in Colorado, you've got uh, 6 to 12 inches there, potentially more in southern Colorado, anywhere from 4 to 10 in the, uh, the Wasatch, 8 to 12 in the Tetons. Okay, final time period's big. 327 through 331, you capture two storm systems here, including that final one, which comes all the way through the Sierra and then tracks through southern Utah into southern Colorado with those big numbers. Out of that storm alone, southern Colorado could get two, maybe three feet of accumulation. So that's a big time period. About a foot up in the Tetons, one to two feet in the Wasatch, so pretty big there too, and one to two feet up in the uh, Washington, Oregon state areas. Okay, let's go to the northeast. Things have held here, and that heavy band of snow continues to stretch out over parts of New York State, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, where we could see two feet or more 
of accumulation. Again, a lot of this comes on 323, but there's also another storm system down the road around 328 or so. So it'll be the combination. What you see is the combination of both storm systems. All right, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning. Again, grand totals by late 331 are impressive and holding in a lot of areas with feet of grand total accumulation. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate it and take care.